Calvin Hughes, along with myself, Nicole Perez, we are going to send it over to our Chief Certified Meteorologist, Betty Davis. Betty, fill us in. I have the feeling we are the lead story tonight on World News with David Muir. We are under uh, flooding conditions out there. Let's just take a moment, take a breath, and talk about how much rainfall we have seen out there today and what the radar trends are indicating currently. We have seen these are official numbers coming in from various gauges. Miami, about five inches of rainfall. Fort Lauderdale, 8.8 .8 inches measured so far today. And the Doppler radar estimates are putting some of these numbers even higher. Now here's a look at the current radar and obviously we are still covered in rain. Broward, Dade, even the Keys starting to get into some of the uh, storms that are carrying the torrential downpours. I want to hone in first on Homestead because this is where we had a severe storm to move through. That severe thunderstorm has dropped off as we've tracked that storm push eastward. Now it's bringing rain, flashes of lightning over toward the waters of Biscayne Bay between Cutler Bay and Turkey Point. Uh, still getting uh, some occasional flashes of lightning. The upper keys though will get the balance of that. Now I'm bringing the radar view back up toward uh, Dania Beach, Hollywood, Hallandale Beach, uh, Aventura, Surfside. The good news, and Glenna alluded to this, is that the rainfall, the intensity is starting to taper down. So the rain is not as intense as it was. Those rainfall rates are starting to come on down. So we like to see that, but the rain has not completely ended. This is the view around Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, Aventura, down towards Surfside. Mind you, these are areas, especially right along the immediate coastline that since yesterday have picked up uh, about 17 inches of rain for one spot near, uh, near Hallandale Beach and then down around Surfside approaching 15 inches of rainfall uh, near one spot there. So a general, general 10 to more than a foot of rainfall since yesterday and we got a lot of that more than a half a foot today in these spots. Here's the view of Miami and Miami Beach around Miami, the downtown area, about 10 inches of rainfall and then out toward the beach. Uh, some areas picking up about 14 inches by Doppler radar estimates since yesterday. Now here's the current radar. Here too, we're noticing the rainfall rates are not as high as they were because when we start to see a lot of red showing up on the radar, that's an indication that it is just teeming out there. Still a, diff a decent clip in some spots, but rainfall rates are definitely dropping off as we uh, head over the next hour or so. It's just going to take a minute for this to eventually wind down, but the overall trend is exactly what our future radar, our forecast model was showing. The heavier rainfall is now starting to shift south, south Dade down toward the Keys. So we like to see that. So more and more, this is going to take a little while as we work through the night, we would expect the coverage in rain through Broward and Dade to become more sparse. By 11 p.m. tonight, the forecast model still showing some showers in the area, but the pro more prolific rains, more so by 11 p.m. down near the Keys, and this event sort of winds down and then we get into what tomorrow is going to hold. Our future radar, 8 a.m. in the morning, if this verifies, shows a spotty downpour or two passing. Daytime heating, though, look at what it's doing. It shows yet another mighty band of rainfall setting up across the area starting around 4 p.m. A Broward covered in some of those downpours and then that makes its way and spreads on over toward Dade. And then by tomorrow night, late gets down into the Keys. So we are not out of this at all. Flood watch is going to continue through Friday evening. There could be some parts of South Florida that pick up up to another half, uh, half a foot of rainfall, if not more than that. It is just that type of setup. We have this tropical tap of moisture that we're not quite getting out of tomorrow. Here's our moisture tracker. Notice where the shade of green is pointed right over South Florida. Now by Saturday, we will start to see some things shifting. A ridge of high pressure over the middle of the country. We'll have an eye on that. Lingering moisture, we could still pop a few showers and storms on Saturday, but by Father's Day, here comes that ridge of high pressure, somewhat drier air having more of an influence, so our weather won't be as wet as we're winding down the weekend and starting a new week. Here's the seven day planner. Make sure you have the local 10 weather app to keep an eye on the radar and get the latest on the warnings in your area. Flash flood warning officially in effect until 8 p.m. this evening for so many places in Broward and Dade. Okay, we got to get through the rest of the week. Betty, thank you. We're going to go